Go! Action! Cut! Whatever! Hey, this is Wrestling with Reselling. <laughs> I am the zombie. This is... Permage. She's from another channel. I am, But she's fact, on this channel for now. I like to be, you know, multiple places. It's great. Uh, this is going to be an unbagging video. Instead of an unboxing Instead video. Instead of an unboxing video. Same idea. Just, you know, it's a bag. We came across these bad boys. One's a pop culture blind bag. And one is a gaming you pay, blind bag. You pay $9.99 for the bag. And supposedly there's over $25 worth of merchandise. Pop culture, gaming, crap. Toys, toys collectibles. Good stuff. I'm excited! So we thought we'd buy them and see how bad they really are. I bet they're fantastic. I hope they are. The so, pop boxes, the Funko Pop mystery boxes, are great. I have an unboxing on my channel of one of those. Which one do you want to start with? This one, because I'm already like in the process. Or do you want to just do both at the same time? Sure. Why not? We'll do both at the same time. I think you're going to get yours open before I get mine open. I bet you were right. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> <laughs> it's called scissors. I wanted to just be able to rip into it. Oh, we're so dumb. There's literally a chair. Oh, look at that. <laughs> So, see people? Uh, I'm not going to look. Um, we're going to try and do more of these. Yes. We haven't done far enough than whatever. We like doing videos. We just find that it's we don't have a lot of time. A lot of time. Because you got to show, you got to edit. We wrestle with reselling. We, we really, really do. do. That's, That's a true up. fact. I, got, I bought some boxes off this other YouTuber called Locker Nuts, And I was going to do some unboxing with him. But one of the things I got from him was this, I don't know if you can see it, was this mask I've been looking for everywhere. And he had it in a wrestling lot and I bought it from, kept that, sold the rest of the stuff. Didn't do an unboxing in the meantime. Didn't do an unboxing, which I should have, but, you know, in this day and age in the apocalypse, you don't have much time. We, so, we did finally get his head wound pretend tended to, though. Yeah. How do you like the look? It's very flattering. A All right. color for you. I'm gonna pull the first thing out of here. Are we, gonna, are we gonna alternate? Or are we gonna take turns? We're gonna alternate. Okay, cool. What'd you get? Ooh. So. Magnets? They look like magnets. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle magnets. Ooh. It says Loot Crate on them. Yeah, it so does say Loot Crate on the back of it. I wonder if Loot Crate makes these. Hmm. That's, NECA. that's different. Hmm. Ooh, up, up, down, down. That's not the only thing it says, but... Copyright infringement! Yeah. Alright, I'm really excited about whatever this is. Little Sister Vinyl Figure. What is this from? Bioshock. This also says Loot Crate, so I'm assuming that this must be made in partnership with Loot Crate. Or somebody bought a million Loot Crates and purged them all and decided to... Me, personally... I like buying stuff and not knowing what's in it. Same! When you buy Loot Crates... It tells you what's in the box. Yep. I, I don't like that. I'd I, rather get the thing and be surprised at what I'm getting. I have the same problem with, like, Pokemon cards, because if you buy the Pokemon card decks, it tells you what cards are in them. What cameraman, what? Steve? The, the, the one thing that's in that one looks like something that's going to make us laugh. Okay. We got this. What is it? It's a red baggie. <laughs> The Simpsons. It says The Simpsons on it. So uh, it's, it's a, a Simpsons name. condom. I don't think it's a condom. Yep, it is actually. Bullshit! <laughs> says this? No. I probably shouldn't be biting these things with that whole virus thing going on. I was going to say, like, keep your germs to yourself, broski. It's already bad enough we are not social distancing. Yeah, that's true. I don't go anywhere. Really? The donut! It's <laughs> <laughs> it's the Simpsons Donut. From, That's uh, fantastic. What's the name of the <clears throat> place? I don't fucking know. Oh. Oh, God. Demonetized. demonetized. <laughs> I don't know. It's in all the videos, though. I think it's from the donut shop in the Simpsons. I I'm probably so wrong. I have no idea. I think it is. I'm going to be one of those people that have no idea what I'm talking about. It's great. My turn. Ooh, a sweatband from The Legend of Zelda. This says crate exclusive. So, yeah, it's all a bunch of crate stuff. That they couldn't get rid of. Loot crate exclusive. 
Oh, uh, that's an equivalent. Is it a magnet? No, it's a pin. That's a giant it pin. It looks like a giant pin. Transformers. It says Bumblebee on the back of it. It's a giant Bumblebee transformer of a eight track radio boombox. Huh. Interesting. And again, it says Loot Crate exclusive on the back of it. Huh. Mm. Interesting. So these are made by Loot Crate. I was saying, you would think they would put Loot Crate on it to like advertise themselves. But it says NECA over here. I know, same on mine. Which is usually a good brand, so. I wonder if NECA owns Loot Crate. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, you actually saw that from yes, over there? Yes, I did. All right, you know what? You have to pull it out. That is fucking hilarious. hilarious. What is it? It is a uh, Power Ranger shirt. Why is that so funny? Because when we go thrifting, uh -huh. we always see these in the thrift store. The exact same shirt. We find these in the thrift oh. store all the time. Oh. Well, now we have one. Yeah. We had one. Oh. Did we sell it? Yes. We did. For five bucks. Oh. Yeah. But this is new, so. Ah! Is that the last thing you're That bagged? was the last thing in the bag. Oh, okay. Well, I still have quite I know. A isn't, isn't Power Rangers making a resurgent? I don't know. Either the, one. The new, the, the new, it's been a couple years now. The last movie I don't think did very well, which I don't understand because I really like it. That was it. There was only four things in that. I think I'm going to make it a lot better than me. There's definitely more than four <clears throat> things in here. Go for it. All right. So I don't know what this is because it's not really a sticker, but it's a uh, Call of Duty Black Ops um, rubber thing. It's not a sticker. It's not a magnet. It's just like a weird plasticky, vinyl-y, patchy thing. Do you think it's know. do you think it's like an iron-on? It doesn't seem like it's an iron-on. Might be like a cup holder. Like a coaster thing? Kind of weird. Yeah, it's like odd. Like it, it feels like it might be a magnet, but it's not. It seems almost like a patch, but like it's not. I I don't know. Okay, fine. You keep it. Is that one of those creepy spongy things? No. Good. See, what I'm going to do with this mm -hmm. is I have... Cameraman? I yeah, have, what are you doing? Pay I have attention. a bunch of minis on my shelf up here of things, so I'm going to add the mini donut to my mini collection. Perfect. Not anybody. Right. Let's see, what have I got here? Oh, I have Vault Boy with a metal detector. That's from BioWorld, isn't it? Biohazard? No. no. Fallout? Yes, Fallout. There you Fallout. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that. You get there eventually. I think this has literally. another piece, though, because like his foot looks like it goes into something, and I don't know that I have the other piece. So I'm a little confused, but we shall see. Little Vault Boy dude. Cameraman? The Steve. donut is from Lard Lad Donuts. That's it. Okay. I'm going to sneeze. Corona. Corona tissue. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're all sick now. <laughs> no, I demonstrated proper sneezing technique and sneezed into my elbow. Okay. I didn't touch my hands. I got another one of those weird Black Ops things. This is Black Ops 3. Well, I, I guess these are mine. I guess so, since you're the Call of Duty guy. All right. I guess those are yours. Coffee? Oh, here's the rest of the thing. I think. Maybe. Let it work. And she broke it. Let me see. It. I did not. Continue with your. Ta da! And she broke it. Here you go. This. <laughs> oh, and I broke it. <laughs> uh, I suck. It's definitely like a like a little mini statue thing, but it doesn't like that's definitely how it goes in there because you can see the shape, but it doesn't want to stay. This is why they threw it in a box because it wouldn't freaking stay. Probably. Yeah, we'll throw some super glue on it. It'll be fine. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> um, all right, and the last thing in my bag is also for... Oh, that's nice. Cameraman. So this is a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 reversible beanie. That's, not, that's actually worth it. Yeah, this is the nice. Nine bucks, the nine bucks that we paid for that, I would say value-wise, I think it's spot on. Yeah, I think so. I don't think $25 is really... No. I mean, you figure nine bucks for this. At least. These little things. I mean, at GameStop, we sell stuff like this for like five, I think. Yeah. So... Uh, figurine. 
You might have got ten bucks. Maybe for that. ten bucks for that. Whatever figurine that is. These are probably like five, because like the Funko minis are like five, I think. The nerd one. Eh. I don't think there's a twenty-five dollar value here. I kind of don't feel that way either. Even this is like kind of like just really Cheesy. strange. You know what? I don't think. Uh oh, she's cracking it open. I don't think this is the pin. Increasing the back. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, so okay, we thought that this was the pin, but we're silly. There are actually three pins just in a folded up thing. Okay. So that makes a little bit more sense. This is probably 10 bucks right here. Yeah. Or 15, if I know how people overcharge for things. So that was that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you know when we post more videos because we'll be doing that more often now. We are going to try to do this a few times a week. Yeah! If, if we can get more crap to, to, uh, open. to open up. Which I do have some more stuff coming in on Friday. So even if we do it without a cameraman, we can, definitely we can still do it because we're... I do everything without a cameraman. Yeah. It's just me. Yeah. I do all my own stuff. I'm... Um, Woman of many talents. I am missing half my brain still, so, you know. Yeah, you have an excuse. You might want to put the hat back on before Corona gets in that and really fucks you up. We're already demonetized, so I'm allowed a second F-bomb. Yes. We do swear once in a while, so. All right. So that's enough of this. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter so you can see all of the stuff that we get and post. Uh, if you're interested in buying anything, make sure to shoot us a message. Uh, you can also follow me on all social media, at Permage. If you're interested in that kind of thing, I do some unboxings too, but mostly I do different stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!